Welcome to the next session of the software installation in the Android app development category. We are using the Java path. In the previous session, we have seen how to download and install the latest JDK. And in today's session, we will learn how to install the latest Android Studio version. For that, we will be opening the Google search engine. So uh, let's go to the Google search engine and then we will type latest Android Studio version. So we will be typing latest Android Studio version and in the results, we will be going to the official website, which is the developer.android.com. Remember, we will be downloading the softwares only from their official websites. So I'll be clicking on this uh, website, the official website which will take us to the download section of the Android Studio. And here we can see the latest version that has been provided uh, by the Android Studio is 2021.2.1. So we'll click on this uh, uh, download Android Studio. Here we have to accept the terms and conditions. So I'll click on, I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions and I'll click on this download button which will uh, start the download of the Android Studio. So here we can see the download is begin. It will take a little bit time and then we can see it's showing approximately four minutes. So in the meantime, I'll go to the download options and we'll check the software requirements for uh, this specific version. So you can see, I'll go down and here we can see the system requirements, the system requirements have been mentioned, which you will be needing to install this Android Studio. So we can see here 64 bit Microsoft or Windows 8 or 10 or higher. So this is a minimum requirement that you must have at least a 64 bit Microsoft Windows 8 or 10 in case of Windows operating system. Then you must have an x86 64-bit CPU architecture, which is second generation, uh, Intel Core or newer, which means if you are having i3 or you are having i5 or i7, so you can easily install. So the minimum requirement is a 64-bit CPU with second generation Intel Core that supports Windows, okay, Windows hypervisor. So let's not take this in uh, big detail. And then you need 8 GB RAM or more and you need 8 GB of available disk space from the hard disk. If you are using a solid solid state disk, so you need minimum 8 GB of the solid, solid state disk space. And then you need a minimum screen resolution is 1280 cross 800. So this is in the case of the Windows. And if you are using uh, any other operating system, so you can check from this here. Uh, we have a Mac and Linux and Chrome OS as well. So I'm using a Windows operating system. So uh, all these specifications are satisfied by my system. My system is a Windows 10 OS, 64-bit OS. I am having a i3 core i3 processor. I am having 16 GB RAM and I am having a one terabyte GB of available space. The download is completed and you can see that the file size is uh, 929 MB. Now I'll click on this uh, downloaded file, exe file, and we'll begin with the installation of the Android Studio. Let me remind you the prerequisite to install Android Studio is to have the JDK, which we have already done in the previous session. So now let me click on this Android Studio setup. Welcome to the Android Studio setup. Uh, we'll click next to continue. And here you can see this is Android virtual device is selected so that you have a virtual device to test your uh, Android app. This is showing the installation path and uh, my installation path is C program files, Android and then Android Studio. We can change it from here, but I'll advise you to install it in the C program files. So I'll keep the same uh, installation path and now I will click on next. And then uh, I'll choose again, this is start menu folder. So for the start menu, I'm keeping it as Android Studio and then I'll click on uh, install. So this is extracting and uh, installing all the files. This will take few minutes. 
So now you can see installation complete setup was completed successfully. Now I'll click on next and you can see the uh, Android Studio setup is completed and now we can uh, start our Android Studio. So I'll click, I'll, I'll keep this checkbox so that the Android Studio is open. Otherwise I can also go to the program files or I can start the Android Studio from there as well. But here I can click on this checkbox to start Android Studio and I'll click on finish. This will open up the Android Studio. It is asking to import Android Studio settings. So I'll click on do not import settings and then I'll click on OK. So this is Android Studio Chipmunk 2021.2. I'll click on don't send and then you can see it it will allow us to develop uh, the mobile apps, the Android watch apps, the Android television and the Android auto. So I'll click on next here. And then we have to choose the type of setup we want for the Android studio. I'll use the uh, standard setup with the common settings. Now you can select the user interface. It's a black theme or it's a white theme. I'll prefer the uh, black theme. So I'll choose a black theme. And you can say here it needs to download the SDK components, uh, the Android emulator, Android SDK build, uh, the SDK platform, platform tools. So I will download all these things and I'll click on next for the purpose. This is the terms and conditions section. You need to accept the terms and conditions of the Android Studio. We'll accept all the terms and conditions, whichever are here. And then we need to click on finish. So it will uh, download the SDK components and then it will install the SDK components for the Android Studio. Once it is done, our Android Studio will be ready to design our first mobile Android app. It will take few minutes. We can see the downloading of the components is done. Uh, we have uh, Android emulator and uh, the other components have been downloaded. So now we can click on this uh, finish. So now this is the Android Studio. Now we can begin with a new project and we can create our app. Let us click on a new project. So we have to select here whether we have to uh, we are developing for phones or tablets, whether we are developing for watches or we are developing for Android TV or we are developing for the Android Automotive, right? So uh, currently we have installed Android Studio for the mobile app development. So I'm choosing this first category phone and uh, tablet and here you can see you have pre-built activities. This is the basic activity and this is a uh, with some different designs, basic activity with material. This is a basic activity with bottom navigation. This is empty compose activity and this is empty compose material. So we will learn all these uh, in upcoming sessions. What are these activities? Uh, we have a Google map activity. We have a Google play activity. We already have a login activity as well. Uh, we can use it for our uh, projects and for our apps. So you can see here we have lots of uh, predefined activities. So I will be choosing the basic activity. Okay, this will behave as the main activity or main uh, page for the Android app. And then I'll click on next. Let me give it the name as my app. Uh, the package name uh, will automatically change this accordingly. So we don't need to do anything. This is the uh, save location, the physical location of the project, which is C users, uh, Nisa, this is my the uh, name of the user here in this case, then Android Studio projects folder, we have my app. This is our first app we are going to develop. From the language section, uh, as we are using the Java path, so we will select Java here as a language and minimum SDK. So uh, we have to choose that which is the minimum SDK for which our app will execute. So we can click here and you can see the minimum SDK is lollipop and uh, the highest uh, SDK here is the Android API 33. 
okay so uh, it's better to choose the lower version so i'll be using a lollipop okay so jelly bean is far away from these days so i suppose that lollipop will be fine so i'll be choosing uh, android 5.0 lollipop this is my uh, minimum sdk on which the app will execute and we can see your app will run on approximately 98.6% uh, of the devices okay let me show you if i go to the jelly bean then this increases to the 100% but definitely jelly bean is a very far away operating system from the current scenario and if i use this uh, the latest version so uh, the percentage of the users is 6.7% because not many users still have this android operating system so it's better that choose a configuration that is owned by most of the people so this is a lollipop so anyone who's having operating system lollipop 5.0 or higher will be able to execute my app okay so now uh, i'll be using the lollipop and then i'll click on uh, finish this will again take few minutes done now i need to click on finish and here is the uh, loading of the project in the android studio here you can see this is my app you need to allow the access so this is the project my app and these are all the files associated with the project and this is the main activity you can see that the gradle uh, is in process which means it's something some something related to the compilation once it is completed uh, our project will be ready so now we can see the gradle is completed and all the options are highlighted here you can say this is the run app uh, button which was not highlighted previously but once the gradle is completed it is uh, highlighted and here we can see this is uh, my app and inside the app we have this app section inside the app section we have this source and inside the source we have this main activity which we had just created okay so this is the main activity now let us uh, execute this let us click on the run button and then see what happens so it's saying no target device found so we need to set a virtual target device or we need to connect the mobile device uh, using the USB cable so in the next uh, session we will learn how to execute and uh, uh, create all the changes and see our app before that we need to install the device driver so let's install the device driver in our next session